Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading uh, for Libra. How are you guys? Libras, let's see what your energies are. Oops, there we go. That come out. This one wants to come out. We have the moon made a new beginning. So it's an energy of being resourceful. Now, this is using resources wisely. So it's, when I see this, you see the, the it's all prickly on the outside, right? Thorns? <laughs> yeah. Now this is, this, we also know cacti have a lot of uh, water inside. So there's something emotional here, the moon maiden. But this is about using the resources around you that are available. If you want to meet someone new, what's available, what's around you. But it's also an energy of spending wisely and, or just being resourceful, period. So I see some kind of compassion, kindness, compassion, something to do with home. Being more compassionate. Someone's a little prickly on the outside, but, you know, uh, emotional on the inside. So it's somebody here about showing your innermost self. And then I see some kind of uh, covenant, some kind of contract. Now, this could be a, to do with a house and a home being resourceful. Now, it could be emotional energy. I see a new house, a new home, but it says compassion. Someone be showing being more compassionate. So someone needs to be more compassionate if they want new love. Okay? Cause, and it's often someone who needs to, you know, maybe heal. Because this is an energy of someone going deep within their emotions. So, Yeah. And there we have the covenant. So some kind of contract negotiating to do a house. See, now we have a, a beginner's mind. Clearing things up, clearing things out, a new beginning. But this is something very emotional here. Others of you, you could be making a contract for a new house and home. You know, starting a, maybe a home-based business. Uh, some sort of an agreement here. So interesting. Look at things carefully. It's a seven. Figure things out. to Make sure. Okay. Look at the facts. And the figures of a situation being it's also part of being resourceful so something may be hidden so make sure you look at it carefully but there it looks like you've got a some of you uh, have a few things happening here yeah overflow and plenty someone feeling a little overwhelmed they have everything they need but feeling overwhelmed for some reason so there's something about being emotionally overwhelmed yeah let me grab I'll take this deck here. Let's have a look at the horned cactus. Yeah, so that pops up right away. I can barely get my hands, my deck picked up and, and out here. And I just go to start to shuffle and out it comes. Yeah, so someone here has been waiting. Now this is an energy of waiting for a situation to come to fruition. But you can see someone looking at past. See, leaving something behind, leaving the past behind and waiting for something new. So while you're waiting... I see someone being resourceful, maybe focusing on house and home, but there's something about compassion, being compassionate, whether it's yourself or somebody else, okay? So there's something about that. It's a person who's prickly on the outside, you know? <laughs> yeah, so something sudden. Uh, we have the high priestess. So it's saying to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. Pay attention to the signs and the signals, but someone's keeping it all in. They're keeping something to themselves, keeping it all in. Now, it's often someone protecting themselves emotionally. It's about showing your, your inner self is what this is. But it's about being kind and compassionate, trusting your intuition. There's a tower. Something is happening suddenly here. A little bit of a shock. Okay? But I actually feel there's going to be a new beginning because it looks like somebody has left their past in the past. Could be someone you've been waiting for. Or you're leaving the past in the past and you're open to something new. But this overwhelm and plenty tells me someone's definitely been emotionally overwhelmed. Yeah. So we have the moon. Again, the moon. A lot of emotional energy. And it's interesting because the Gemini reading was... I'm starting to already see some similarities. And that's why I'm, what, if you're dealing with a Gemini, possibly, I'm sure all of you aren't. Uh, but there's a lot of this inner self energy facing those fears, shadow work, some kind of contract negotiation. Something is hidden. If you are signing a contract, trust your intuition. There's something that you might get a sudden epiphany about money, resources um, here too. So just before you sign anything, like I say, something's hidden. Make sure everything's clear. Uh, before you get it's an energy of making somebody is clear the coast is clear basically okay because it looks like the towers come down at some points with something emotional 
So, but someone is keeping a secret or they've been keeping something to themselves. To me, it's someone who just keeps everything in till they kind of explode. Okay. Yeah. So there we have, now oh, there's the, see, I just said a Gemini energy. So Libra, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is someone who's definitely, I feel it's an inner healing. Uh, someone learning to be more kind and compassionate. But it's someone manifesting something new. See, now this is someone who now has all the tools, the information, everything they need to know to manifest their desires. So whatever needs to be left in the past, while you're waiting for something new, now's a good time to heal. Yeah, it's not great to go within because um, nobody likes to go and face that inner self. Yeah, but look at this. Someone thinking things through, clearing things up, clearing things out, choosing their battles. See, it's an energy of choosing your battles here. But it's someone who's becoming decisive. See, something to do with overwhelm. Someone has everything they need to do with love because they keep everything in. Now, they're either keeping secrets from their past or they <clears throat> have a fear uh, of something here. But it has to do with a home. There is a reason to celebrate. So I feel someone got overwhelmed. Uh, there was plenty, everything they needed, but they got overwhelmed. So somebody kind of come in and then backed out. And it looks like it could be a Gemini. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, little Aries, Leo, Sag energy. A lot of emotional energy. Like, wow. So let's have a look at that Three of Wands again. I want to go over these a bit. Yeah, someone being patient. See, this is someone getting ready, preparing. So they're doing their shadow work. They're looking into their past. So, and it's also sometimes a person who doesn't like what they see. They've been keeping it in. They keep it all to themselves. Someone's bottling things up inside. So, yeah. And it's also someone finding out someone's single. Or this is why somebody is single. Because they keep everything inside. Someone's facing some kind of a fear here, definitely. I do. Shadow work is what it looks like. But like I say, it's someone preparing, tempering their passions, their emotions. It's an energy of just being calm. So this is, and to me, this is the calm before the storm. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, though, because it's, like I say, the worst is over, I can see. Yeah. Now let's have a look at the high priestess. Why is this here? Yeah, you've got an emperor. So we have, oh no, it's a king of wands. Pardon me. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. They may have Gemini in their chart. Like it could go either way. But this is someone who generally goes after what they want. But this is someone who's been keeping something in, keeping it all to themselves. So this is someone dealing with something emotional. Because this is sometimes a person who's kind of macho and tough on the outside. And in the inside, they're actually very sensitive. This is someone who doesn't really like to be alone. They have everything they need, but love because of this. So we got a person going through a healing and they are preparing. They are getting ready. So, and it's often sometimes a person who's not prepared and something happens suddenly and then they kind of have a bit of a meltdown or get angry. Yeah. See, there's the five of wands, chaos, conflict, drama. So this is a five. This is temporary. This is what's going to bring in some change. So someone's going through some kind of internal change here. Yeah, it's this person I feel who's having epiphany. They need to change. They need to change this about self. So there is that win or lose. Someone having that aha moment. See, they're having an aha moment. And it's an energy of that truth. But win or lose, this is someone coming in to take action. They're, they're having this inner struggle. There's this internal energy, but they're dealing with it. They're going to win. They're determined to win. But for some of you, it's just a person who I feel rushed in, rushed in very quickly. See, and they kind of got overwhelmed a little bit. Because uh, I feel they were already dealing with something. Now, it could have been a healing or something had just happened to this person or they were just suddenly single. But I also see someone being really excited because they find out someone's single. But I feel like they're not quite ready. Okay, this is common. It's a rebound kind of thing, right? It's that rebound. So, yeah, that's what people do because they don't really want to be alone, you know. Someone, something ended suddenly, someone finds himself alone. They go after someone, they find out they're single, you know, and it doesn't work out because they got, they rushed in very quickly and then uh, changed their mind here. 
But this is someone who actually has all the tools. See, they're learning something here. They have all the tools, the information, everything they need. So there's definitely shadow work. Facing that fear. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. oh. This is someone who's been going, they've been going through something. But like I say, it looks like a rebound to me. Um, but they want this. And I do think this is someone who is ready now. They're getting ready. Things are calming down. Um, they, you know, they're overcoming this because of victory. They've overcome something. They're a very determined person, very skilled, very creative, very charming, a lot of charisma. But like I say, this is somebody who I feel is kind of very macho and tough on the outside and inside they're very sensitive. Now we have, there you are, Libra. <laughs> yeah, see, you, you, this is where you speak up and speak your mind. Now, this could be yourself speaking your mind here. Maybe it's tempering your words a little bit, kindness, compassion. I feel there's something that you're learning. I do think you're going to learn something about this person. You have all the tools, the information. I feel like you already kind of know something here. I feel like you know. You're very wise. So like I say, tempering your passions and being patient. Uh, definitely it's okay to speak up and speak your mind, but it's in a kind and compassionate way. This is someone who needs to be more kind and compassionate, more than likely, but take it as it is. Always be honest with yourself. Be honest with your inner self, okay? So we have this Knight of Swords energy. Yeah, this is somebody here feeling burdened. They have some baggage. So this is someone letting go of their burdens. It has to do with someone taking responsibility for their own actions. So I actually feel like you have someone who is going to take responsibility for their actions. Okay? And they speak, they're going to, they're having that moment. They're going to speak truth. But it also has to do with yourself. Taking responsibility for your own actions. So it's an energy of somebody blaming someone else for what someone does or gaslighting, whatever it may be. I'm not seeing any narcissism here. I just, I do see this person actually um, taking responsibility. I do. Yeah. Like I say, they rushed in and rushed out. This is somebody who wasn't ready. That's a baggage. Just somebody dealing with baggage from a past relationship. Um, maybe the way they're raised, whatever it may be. But you can see a reason to celebrate. So look at that. Happy home, happy life. This is someone putting all the cups on the table. See, this is someone letting go of it all. So this is a person who's gone through a healing and they're preparing. So it could be something happened suddenly between the two of you. Maybe you weren't prepared or they weren't. Okay, so there it is. I, it's, I, I feel this is going to turn out well. This makes me happy. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to grab a different deck here. Tell me about this, uh, the Queen of Swords here. Yeah, see, someone, things happening very fast. Someone felt overwhelmed. Now, it could be something you said, okay? So you're saying, trust your intuition, your inner knowing. I feel like you already kind of know what this person's dealing with. You feel like you know, or you're going to find out. And you might be shocked, but, because I, I feel this is somebody who's definitely gone through something, but... And I do feel this is an energy of things moving very quickly and someone rushing in and feeling overwhelmed. See, they, they weren't ready. Someone hadn't quite... Um, I feel this person's over this now, but it's about dropping the burdens, the baggage, you see? Yeah, laying down their burdens. This is someone who's going to take responsibility for their actions. If you have someone who doesn't, like I say, it goes both ways, though. But, you know, telling someone, you're teaching someone here how you want to be treated. So, but like, again, you, you know, if you, if you're the person who's, you know, kind of prickly <laughs> and inside you're kind of emotional, like I say, it could be either one of you here. It's an energy of preparing and being calm. So, like I say, the worst is over here. And I do see a celebration, yeah. Someone's pride or ego took a hit. See, it's an energy of providing, preparing, planning and preparing for success. But somebody's pride got in the way, their ego. I feel they weren't prepared for something or like I say, whatever it is. They've actually, I feel they're having a victory with this. Whatever it is, the burdens, baggage being released. This could be someone, maybe you're, it could be a friend or family member giving someone advice. Ta always take your own advice. Yeah, like I say, I feel this is going to turn out well. Yeah, see, we have someone who's kind and compassionate, a little bit of motherly. See, someone got overwhelmed. So there's something forgivable. They got overwhelmed. Now, it could be yourself. You got overwhelmed. 
or this person did. Like it's a being emotionally overwhelmed. So it's often sometimes a person who says something maybe they don't mean, but I'm not saying it's yourself. Like I say, I'm not projecting that onto you. You you know what you've done or haven't done or how you feel, but I feel it's an energy of um, definitely speaking up, speaking your mind, but in a kind and compassionate way. So very nice. Yeah, now we have a king of swords. See both people. There's going to be a lot of truth sharing your innermost self, just speaking your truths. Mm -hmm. This is someone who got overwhelmed. They've learned something. Uh, and it is an energy of being a little bit cold. This is somebody who was being kind of cold to someone who was trying to be kind and compassionate. And their ego took a hit. But they're going to come in more humble. So yeah, some of you have been humble. You may have somebody who actually does this to yourself. Uh, or we have um, a Libra masculine and a Gemini feminine. Or Aquarius. Okay, or just someone in those energies. But there you go. Someone's speaking up. See, it's energy of being fair. It's about harmony. It's about restoring harmony between two people. It's about being fair. Somebody here, I feel, maybe wasn't fair. They didn't come in right or treat you right. And it could be, I do see this uh, motherly energy, uh, something uh, baggage from a past relationship. I think this person will tell you the truth. They Maybe this is someone they didn't give them enough attention or um, whatever happened here. Mm, let me see. I feel like there's something more to this. I mean, it's a person who's generally logical. They look at things a couple ways and they're generally fair. But I do think they're kind of strict and stringent, kind of cold. So like I say, it's we teach people how we want to be treated. So this is where I kind of feel teaching this person kindness, compassion, learning from each other here. Yeah, there's something else going on with this about this person. So I can't quite put my finger on it. Tell me about this six of wands. See, some, a situation wasn't successful because someone's pride or ego got in the way. Someone here has definitely been humbled, the feminine, <laughs> being humble and kind and compassionate. So very nice for the feminine. But yeah, and there we have it. See, it's about cooperating and compromise and compatibility. It's an energy of two people who build each other up. They don't tear each other down. So you see, this is someone I feel trying to. Some, I feel we got someone who's learned, learned those lessons. This is someone learning from someone else because you're teaching them how you want to be treated. So it's about being fair. Yeah, someone has some regrets. They weren't fair. Maybe they judged you or they were cold or they cut you down or said something that overwhelmed you. And it could have been because they were overwhelmed. They may have been dealing with something. So like I say, kindness, compassion can go a long way. You can forgive somebody. This is somebody very forgiving. But like I say, if it's somebody who comes in right, they come in, they, they come back around and they don't come in right the second time. Well, you know, you don't want to bend over backwards to please somebody to avoid confrontation. So I feel like it's an energy of just trying to avoid confrontation. It's okay to avoid confrontation, but not when you're in a relationship. If it's somebody who constantly takes the high road or they, you know, they're, they're kind of harsh or cruel. So there is somebody here having some regrets and some remorse. Uh, they feel like there's not a lot of hope and it could be yourself that way. Um, like I say, this could be a married couple for that matter, but it's, I definitely see someone here who's single. So some of you might be want you want to be single or you'd rather be single because I see someone bending over backwards to please somebody and then they get the king of swords. So somebody here wasn't fair. So this is about restoring harmony. Yeah, see, somebody didn't see it. This is um, someone who didn't see themselves. They weren't seeing self. See, this is about inner self. A lot of people don't. They don't see themselves the way other people see them. Um, but I do see there was someone who was indecisive. See, this is just an energy, um, someone being indecisive. And I feel it could be maybe you reached out to this person, something you said. You know, I see often very witty, very charming Libra. Um, but like I say, it sometimes it happens so quickly out of the blue, someone wasn't prepared. They weren't ready. So it kind of, somebody was off guard they didn't see it coming. Uh, so now they have some kind of regrets for either cutting you out or something here. Yeah. Wow. 
like wow some of the read it's interesting the readings but this is actually good because i see fives where there it's temporary energy okay yeah so sometimes you need a little chaos and conflict to bring in change. Don't be afraid to stand up or confront somebody. Maybe some of you regret not confronting someone when you had the opportunity because you were trying to avoid confrontation. Um, often this is the, when I see the high priestess, it's a, someone who's private. See, it's about privacy or um, someone who just keeps it all in. But look at that beautiful kindness. See, this is somebody who's this way on the out, out inside but maybe not so much on the outside i have a feeling it's probably this masculine but like i say it could go either way yeah it's all about healing it it's all about letting it go so let's see about this two of swords yeah see someone was confused they were unable to make a decision uh, or and then when they did make a decision they probably made the wrong one Someone wasn't fair. And I feel this is someone who's doing their inner work. So somebody's gone within. See, they're doing that inner work. Well, they definitely have a lot of regret. Yeah, see, this is about both people sharing your innermost selves, your, your innermost fears. We teach each other how we want to be treated. Tell somebody the things that upset you, that you don't like, the things that you do like. You know, that's all about your inner selves. It's about being emotionally vulnerable. It's someone who doesn't like to be vulnerable. Often the Queen of Swords doesn't, and the reason is because they've been hurt before. You know, someone who's maybe been abused, or they always bend over backwards to please somebody, so they avoid a fight and an argument because it just tears you down so much. So, and it could be the same for this person. Some masculines can be abused too. Don't kid yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it could go either way. It could have to do with... Um, a past relationship here too yeah very interesting but look at there's some sort of change for the better see someone's moved on from a situation uh, i do see uh, positive change a lot of growth a lot of inner growth and two people talking so it's an energy of talking uh, talking something through yeah someone here wants to ask somebody out too. see coming back around somebody wants another opportunity here they want another chance so I don't know if they cut you out or they just came across as cold or what happened. But I feel like you wanted to confront them or say something and you didn't. You decided to avoid it. But I'm going to tell you, it's <laughs> sometimes you can't avoid things because it's like spirit will, you know, kind of guide somebody to it. Because what it's doing is it's getting this person to have to be more kind and compassionate to share their innermost selves, you know. We know masculine energy is a very masculine person, whoever they are. Um, very charming. I mean, absolutely hardworking. Uh, someone who pulls their weight. They're quite dependable when it comes to, you know, making money. They have everything they need. Uh, very independent. But like I say, sometimes this is a person who doesn't see themselves. And if you said something to this person, maybe, you know, you reached out. They may have been busy. There may have been something going on. Who knows? No excuse though, right? Yeah. It's, temperance is the hard one because it's about learning to, it's all these things that you learn to right before you get ready to start something new. All those things of, you know, not sharing too much information too, too fast, not telling someone how you feel too fast. All, it's all about balance. It's all about keeping everything balanced. But look at this victory. Win or lose, this person's coming in. Yeah, speaking truth. Beautiful. So I see a victory. I feel it's both people going to win. You're both going to win. You're both going to get something here. See, someone's coming up with this. They're having this little aha moment. You see? Mm -hmm. I feel feminine's here. I feel like you kind of already know. That overwhelming. I mean, it could be maybe both of you did. I don't know. But it's just a matter of building each other up, not tearing each other down. And it's probably this person's relationship where they just didn't get along. Sometimes people just aren't compatible. They just don't get along. But most people can get along if they learn temperance. Okay? Interesting. So I see a win-win situation. Yeah, I feel someone's going to reach out. They're hoping you reciprocate. If you don't, this person will just move on. They'll, they'll not bother you again. 
But there we have this, see, taking something to the next level. This person's at a crossroads. So this energy of approaching, someone here could be a little unapproachable, or they don't want to someone to approach. <laughs> Boy. Wow, so much happening here. Yeah, it's like somebody doesn't want this person to approach. You know, that don't come near me or don't approach me. or But it's an energy of someone who's no longer talking to someone here. But they want to. They want to talk. They and It's about being approachable. Yeah, someone here is looking at all the possibilities. They're looking at options. Some of you are keeping your options open. And maybe that's something you said to this person. Whatever happens, I, I wouldn't doubt if it was the feminine who got overwhelmed here with something. I, I don't, you know, but yeah, now we have you know, the King of Cups too. This is two people who need to stop tearing each other down. They need to build each other up. See, build up each other's confidence by showing they're invested, by being compassionate, um, you know. But I also know the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups both, because like I say, um, often bent over backwards to please somebody, to avoid confrontation or an argument. Um, yeah, so something about the two of you here. You're going to learn. You're going to teach each other how you want to be treated. And it's telling you to do it right in the beginning with this person, but gently. Um, yeah, someone here is going to learn to be more kind, this compassion. So crazy. That's what I feel it's saying. You're teaching them how to be more kind, compassionate, or they're going to teach you. <laughs> how about each other <laughs> together, teamwork? Yeah. So nice. I, I, I like this reading because I feel it actually has real uh, resolution here uh, between two people. But I mean, it could be just something you've both been through here, you know, where you, you've taken the lessons you've learned here and learning to speak up and teach someone right away if they don't treat you right or if you feel they're keeping secrets or they're hiding things, you know. But somebody who's afraid of sharing their innermost self, their softer side and masculine, you have to ease your way into that a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's a person who will do it when they're ready. It's also someone who, with that six, this is a person who'll tell you they love you when they're ready. See, some of you may have had a person who wasn't ready. They may have been dealing with something. But I'm going to tell you, this is going to turn out beautiful, I can tell. I'm liking, I'm starting to get little goosebumps here um, for this reading. So, yeah, it's an energy of two people no longer repeating mistakes of the past. Someone here definitely can't stop thinking about you. But it's somebody who felt like their hands were tied. And somebody had the blind felt on. It was like, it's like out of their hands, right? So something may have happened that was out of someone's hand. Uh, they're, you know, they, they weren't able to deal with something. It was something external, something that happened possibly to them. But we'll see. There's the Empress. See, the Empress is no longer repeating mistakes of the past. There you are, Libra. You've gone through this healing. You're mastering the elements of the... The Queen of Swords is the one you're mastering the elements of. See, that's your yourself. So it's an energy of being open. Okay, always kind, compassionate. Doesn't mean if it is someone coming back around, you certainly don't have to reconcile. But it's definitely a good way to um, get closure. Often when you forgive somebody, forgive yourself and you leave it behind, then you're. it's when you're ready for something new. So... Yeah, beautiful. This is the birth of something new right here. Some of you, like I say, you may have cut someone out. You may have a new person who's much more uh, emotionally mature and available here. Yeah, others of you too. I do see this energy of independence, single, looking out for yourself. Um, definitely some of you have everything you need. So it's like, you know... Um, having everything you need but love see there's that very that emotional so something may have started here and it didn't get very far because of the way of someone was behaving so you're going to get truth okay you're going to get some truth someone's going to tell you some truth i'm gonna tell you uh-huh if their ego took a hit because you cut them out or stood up to them or whatever happened they may have learned something very valuable um from you so we should always be open to learn Okay, learning from other people. Be willing to uh, give 
what we expect to receive. Okay, take care. See you soon.